In this video, I'm going to show you how you can SSH into your EC2 instance from your Windows machine. So right now I'm on AWS console. So first let's create an EC2 instance. So I'll click on this launch instance. And in here, we need to first give a name to our instance. So let's say testing. And then I'll choose the Ubuntu and, and I'm going to create a new key pair. I'm going to choose the PPK format and give a name to the key. Let's say testing. Okay, let's name it something else. Let's name it test and click on create pair. And it's we need to download it. So I'm going to download it on my desktop and I'm going to select all file types and click save. So the so the key pair file has been saved now I'll click on launch instance so this will create an EC2 instance so now let's first refresh it here is our newly created EC2 instance if I click on it you can see here we have the public IP v4 TNS I'm going to copy it but before that we need to download a software called putty so let's go to Google and search for download putty so click on this link i'm going to click on this link again and i'm using windows 64 bit so i'm going to select this one this will download the putty msi file and now let's install it click next click next install this is going to take a while click yes and click finish so the putty has been successfully installed here is how it looks so let's go back to our EC2 instance and copy the DNS and come back here and paste it right here where it says host name or IP address. So let's paste it down there. And then in here, you can see this SSH. You need to click on this plus sign and click on this auth sign. And in here now, you need to browse to your uh, key pair file that we just downloaded. So browse that file. Mine was on my desktop. So here it is. So I'm going to click on open. Now you can see it will give you this warning for the first time. You need to click on accept. And now you are going to log in as Ubuntu. So there you go. You have successfully SSH into your EC2 instance. So now you can do anything. You can say LS or you can say CD var. So you are in the var directory LS. Here it lists out all the things that are in the var folder so yeah this is how you can ssh into your ec2 instance in windows machine using the putty software so i hope this video helped you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it keeps me motivated for creating more videos like this I'll see you in the next one till then peace out